This is Fishing for River Monsters. Fishing for River Monsters, episode one, guys. This is an old series we had on the channel. You guys loved it. Everybody's been asking for the river videos, and we are back at it, baby. We are on the boat today, boys. Hey, let's give me a round of applause, boy. Come on. We finally back at it, guys, on the boat, and I am so excited. You guys have been wanting the boat, and guess what? I've been wanting it even more, man. We've had so many issues, but we finally got them resolved, and we are back on the boat. And this summer, we're gonna be filming a lot of one river fishing videos and two boat videos in general and trying to get the best content out for you guys but we are searching for river monsters today and you guys are probably wondering what does that mean and it's when we go out on the river we hunt around we fish around we talk about what we're doing and we hunt for the biggest fish in the river as you guys know the river that i'm on today has got some really big fish but they're not the easiest to catch there's a lot of squirts and just good solid fat fish that you'll catch but to find those really big giants it takes a lot of work before we get deeper into this video only 27 percent of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed so if you could take the time hit the subscribe button it really helps the channel I'd appreciate it. With that being said, let's go ahead and rig up our rods, show you guys what we're throwing, and get the fishing, baby. I'm so excited, let's go. All right, boys. Hey, let's get it started now. We got a bunch of different rods on the deck here. We have a loose combo with a spinner bait on it. We got a kicking combo with a buzz bait on it. By the way, you wanna check out the kicking combos, baby. They looking sexy today in that sun, just glimmering. Check them out on kickingtheirbass.com. Link will be down below. It has been, it is fishing season, guys. So go get you a rod and catch some big bass this summer. Then we got another loose rod with a frog on it. We have a kick and spinning rod. This is actually Tara's. I stole it from her uh, this morning. And uh, she has a Texas rig on that. I don't know if we'll even use this today, but who knows, maybe. We got another rod right here and another bait caster right there. But before we even get into anything, I wanna tie a few baits on. Actually, you know what? I think we're kind of set up. We, we have a spinner bait, we have a buzz bait, we have a frog, and then on that kick and combo, on the far side we actually have a fluke tied up i feel like that's a good solid start right there a texas rig is something that we could use as well but to be completely honest with you guys i want to catch them on a moving bait today at least that's what we're going to start off with so we decided to start down river today i want to work my way up river but the tide the water level is pretty high right now we're on an outgoing tide but we're still at the top peak of it so there's a lot of water in these creeks. And, and the further down river that I went, I knew that the water was gonna be pumping out quicker. So with that being said, I wanted to start down river just to honestly kill some time and try to catch some fish over this way. This is a, a solid spot that I use to fish all the time. And I was like, you know what? Let's just go out to it and uh, see if we can get some of these big fish. We're gonna start off with our spinner bait here. This is white and chartreuse, good looking spinner bait. And we're just gonna start covering some water, casting around, see where these fish are positioned. You know, when you're fishing rivers like this, tidal water fisheries, it's all timing. And, and by what I mean, it's like, when you guys come out here, it's not like, oh, I'm coming out at uh, seven in the morning because the fish are eating better in the morning. That's not how river fishing works. And if, if you're treating river fishing that way then you're probably going to get upset a few times you need to be going off the tides so with that being said we're fishing an outgoing tide we still have a little bit of time to kill before it gets super crazy because i know we're gonna smoke them today boys but let's start casting around and let's try to hook us a big fish i got out here a little early i did not expect it to be this high like i, I wanted the water level to be a little a little lower but that, that's okay we're gonna work with it we're not gonna spend too much time in this creek if it's not happening this is one of those spots that it's all based on timing and if we hit the timing right it's insane but we would have to probably sit here another two hours for it to get crazy crazy we, we could definitely catch fish in it right now um, but I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time here and then after that we're gonna make an educated decision on where to go next with how high this water is because it's really high why not get some top water action going boys got a buzz bait I, I don't have many buzz baits in this boat this isn't necessarily the buzz bait of choice but it should work we're definitely getting some top water action today too i'm telling you it's happening oh that 
that scared me. I don't know what that was. I don't think that was a bass. He was right, dude. He was right up on that grass. I didn't even see him. Like super shallow. That was our first piece of activity. I want to see that happen, but on my lure, you know? Oh. Yo, what's going on here? That was definitely another guard, bro. They're just like at the top of the surface. I can't see them at all. <laughs> that, that thing scared me more than it scared itself. Got a spinner bait again. Dude. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? First cast on the spinnerbait, little tiny guy. <laughs> He's fat though, oh my goodness. Beautiful, healthy fish right there. <laughs> There's our first fish of the day. That is a future toad, guys. I felt him tick me, and I didn't know if I was dreaming because I was like, I've been throwing so many casts here. And uh, yeah. Wow, <laughs> dude, that bass is so small, but he's so fat. We're on board, baby. Let's see if we can catch another one. Two casts in a row? Two casts in a row? And there's gotta be more than just that one little dude chilling. Like, seems like he would be afraid of the dark. I don't know, man, he's, he's fat. He's a big, juicy boy for what he is. We just learned something too, guys. You know, don't ever... Look at that. Look at that. Gosh, this puppy's fighting. This is a bigger one. Definitely a bigger one. Oh, yeah. Dude, these river bass fight so good. Oh, gosh. He's just aggressive as can be. Come here, boy. Stop it. Oh, yeah. Good, good close to two pounder right there. Oh, my gosh. Look at how fat. These fish are so hefty. They're just brutes, man. Small mouth. Look how small the mouth on, a, on that bass is. But super... Thick and fat body. Thank you, baby. Dude, we might be on to something, boys. We might just be on to something. So what I was getting to is like, we were throwing that buzz bait, man. We were about to leave out of here. We pick up the spinner bait, boom. Two fish, just like that. My thing is, don't ever think that there's just not fish there. You could be throwing the wrong bait, man. They weren't one to come up for top water for who knows what reason. I think when we go up river, we're gonna smoke them on top water today, but these fish did not want top water, man. They wanted a dang spinnerbait. Oh, that's not a bass. That is not a bass. That's a toothy critter. That's a river monster if we know of it. That's a river monster, boys. Not, uh, dude, you were just, you broke my dang spinner bait. That's, come on, dude. I don't have many of them. Okay. We need the pliers for you, boy. You've been a naughty boy. I haven't caught one of you in a long time, so I'm fine with it. Okay. Man, will those things destroy a spinner bait. I mean, goodness. Everything was going good until he bit. <laughs> Holy cow. Do you think we can salvage it? I think we can. At least we could say we've caught two species so far. That's fun. We could go catch some redfish if we wanted to, but maybe we'll do that. We'll do that another episode. I solely want to focus on bass my first day back on the river. It's been a year since I've been out here. I'm telling you, I'm banking on this cast. I know I made this cast 27 times. You guys are probably wondering, Noah, why are you casting in the same spot? For that exact reason these fish this water as you guys can tell the current's flowing out these fish are coming in from that back okay so every five minutes you know you have an opportunity of making the same cast if if not second i mean these fish continue to get pushed down this creek right here and they're going to continue to replenish if we were here an hour from now it would probably be every cast we're still catching fish so i want to stay here a little bit longer but I'll, I'll tell you this spot right here like you can make the same cast 30 times and catch 30 fish there's been days where i've caught 80 something fish out of making the same cast so that's the glory part about fishing you know these tidal tidal water rivers 
you just never know i mean that's why i'm making multiple casts and if we don't have a bite in a couple minutes um like buy a bass of course we're, we're gonna move spots but if we really wanted to fish this spot where they're just going crazy we need to wait an hour and i just i really don't want to wait an hour i'd rather go up river and do something different and keep exploring let's try this fluke out this is something we can work a little slower a little more subtle and this fish just might not want that spinner bait but if we throw this fluke up here let's see what we're working with we might get a bite I'm mind blown if we catch one on the first cast of this after that buzz bait to spinner bait trick we did. If I had a Texas rig, I'm telling you, we would get a lot of bites too. Dude, there's no way. There is no freaking way, tiny guy. But like, that's a fish that wouldn't eat the spinner bait. We pick up the fluke, dude, first cast. Same thing as the last, last bait. And boom, we got us a fat bass. A little tiny dude. Dude, I'm telling you, these fish are brutes. They eat good in here. And that's our first fluke fish today. That's fun. All it took was one cast. That's just, that's what I'm saying, man. This is just unreal. The fishing that we're going to get on today, guys, I'm telling you, stay tuned till the end of the video. We're going to get on some just sick, nasty fishing today. This is just an appetizer. This is just to get our arms and, and hands moving, you know? But I've caught a lot of big fish in this creek. I was hoping to just hook into a dang five pounder real quick. Dude, I mean, this is just crazy. Oh my gosh, look how fat you are, dude. Like, what are you eating? What are you eating for breakfast? Because I need it. I mean, how are you that muscular, dude? Look at this tiniest mouth on this largemouth. This is a largemouth bass, too, guys. This ain't, this ain't a spot. This ain't a shoal bass. This ain't a small mouth. That is a largemouth bass. That's how small his mouth is, but that's how big his dang body is. Well, that's two fish on the fluke in three casts. As fun as it is to sit here and catch these fish on the same cast, repetitive. It, you know, there's part of me that wants to go hit something else and try to catch a bigger one. This is just, I mean, how many fish are in there, dude? I'm, I'm concerned now. Okay, he jumped off. We are getting bit every cast. I mean, how do you just pull the plug and leave this spot? I don't know if you guys heard, but you don't ever leave fish to find fish, but we will be leaving fish to find fish here shortly once they stop biting. All right, it's time. Time for our next adventure. That was fun. We caught some fish, just not the size that we're looking for. So we're going to keep on moving. Either they just do not want the spinner bait or the spots I'm hitting are just not timed right. I want to say it's a little bit of both. If I go up river, I think we're gonna have a better shot at catching them on the spinner bait good. Oh, that, bro. How are they missing it, man? I almost need a trailer hook, but there's a lot of trees and stuff. We're gonna cast this fluke in one time and get smoked. I'm telling you, this fluke's gonna get munched. Threw that spinner bait all up there, got short stroke. I'm gonna throw this up there and get eaten. If I had a crawl, you already know we getting eaten. Maybe in a little bit we'll tie it on. Depends how the rest of the day goes. Crazy thing about this fluke is with this current, you just literally, I'm telling you, you throw it up there, you pop it a couple times and just let that current take it. Oh, I actually had a fish. No, I didn't. I was to say, I thought I had a tree and I did. <laughs> I was like, there's no way. I didn't think that was a fish. Oh gosh. He's running at me. Oh my gosh. Littlest tiny dude, dude. My chest cam died as he bit it. He was running at me, dude. I thought he just like missed it. That's pretty crazy. That is not the size that we want. Not those. And I'm itching closer and closer to go up river. Old choo-choo train. All right, it's time. Up river we go. It's time to find those giants. We have made it up river. And as you guys can tell, big change in scenery up here. Looks a lot different. And we're gonna get after it. I'm hoping to catch some really big ones up here today and also some top water fish. We're gonna cast around, just kind of learn 
figure out what these fish want and really hunker down the water's still a little high from where i want it but it's not bad by any means and i just cast it right in the dang tree oh my gosh For some reason i just cannot cast a spinnerbait today oh dude he had me right away oh my gosh noah cast dude just cast like you usually do Oh my gosh. Bro, what is that? What are you? It's a catfish. Wow. Random dead catfish. Honestly, disappointed in that whole top order deal. I just haven't had any fish that are interested at all from the start of today. I thought it was going to change a little different when I came up here. Um, I don't know. You know, maybe it's the spot. For the time right now, you know, they're just not wanting top water. We'll, we'll continue to pick it up throughout the day. Hopefully, they'll turn on at some point. At least get us one or two top water fish today. Oh, that's a good one. Come on, baby. He dove right over that tree. I barely. Is it that small, dude? There, hold on. Hold on, what was I seeing with my eyes? That fish is tiny, dude. That's funny. That's so funny. Hey, we're back on board though. We had a long little stretch there. <laughs> fish is fat, but he is not big. Bro, I swear my eyes saw a three plus pounder come up and eat that. He did not look like he was only a pound. <laughs> what is going on? That's funny. But we broke our little bad stretch there. We, we were not having bites for a minute. I mean, we had some bites, but just no fish ever since that first spot we hit. But there we go. We're back on board. We're locking it in. These fish right now are going to be on the main river. We just got to hit the right spots, throw our bait in the right areas, and uh, obviously fish the right bait, which we're having a hard time with. I'm, I'm probably being a little too stubborn right now. We haven't tied a Texas rig on at all, and I know we would have way more fish if we have a Texas rig. I'm just trying to catch them on moving baits in top water. I'm just, I'm being a little stubborn. One thing I don't like about this bank at all is if you guys can tell, this water is very stagnant. When I'm fishing the river, I really like to fish current. This, this bend is coming around and that current is on that far edge. That bank's gonna be better to hit, in my opinion, instead of the stagnant water. Especially if we're trying to find some of those bigger fish, they're gonna be in that current. Not saying that you can't catch some good fish and catch fish at all on this side, because obviously we just caught one and I just got bit again. Definitely where the current's heavy, we're gonna have our best bets. I think spinnerbait buzzbait's gonna be our friend on this side of the bank, which I'm excited about. See, I have more luck with the spinnerbaits and buzzbaits when I'm fishing this heavier current than moving water. It's kind of like the same concept of if you're on a lake and it's really windy, you're throwing a spinnerbait, you know. So this water's just moving by current. Different, different idea, but same concept. Look at that. Oh, dude. Right away, we got a bite on the buzzbait. Okay. And this is what I do. If I get bit on that buzzbait, I usually don't throw it back in. It's hard to get them to bite again. But I pick up a fluke or a Senko, anything weightless, and I throw it right where you got bit. And usually, you just let that thing sit, kind of count the seconds down, and he's got it. Oh. Dude, that fish is being so finicky. He had it, though. That's a little trick, though. If, you, if you're missing fish on a buzzbait, I'm telling you, throw a little Senko, a fluke, so, something that's weightless, or even a Texas rig crawl would work. And uh, usually they think that they hit that buzzbait and killed that fish and it's just floating. That's why a fluke and a Senko works really good. Well, we got a good bite on the buzzbait. That's a good sign. We haven't been fishing down this bank long. It looks so good too. Got shade, trees, current just prime bank little nooks and crannies like that's like a little creek that's pouring in right here that's what you want there's 100 percent of fish right here it's just if he's gonna eat this buzz bait dude just like that they're not eating it all the way Dude, I saw him wake off the left side of the bank to come eat that. Let's see if he'll eat this fluke. Please, baby. I mean, I didn't hook him at all. That seemed like a better fish, too. 
So like all this bank looked really good and it looks like there could be a fish there but the spot where I would say there's a fish is either right in that corner or right in that crevice. So you got you got something blocking the current which is called a current break right there. So you got like a big log right there and that current's going over it. This spot right here too, you got that little stick and those are prime spots for bass to be sitting. They're still in the current but that stick is providing some protection from that current and it's not dragging them all over the place. Look at that protected area back there. Dude, they are missing it. Like, I need a trailer hook. They're missing this thing completely. That was a two pound fish right there. It came up, I saw him grab the back of it and just, I mean, that was a picture perfect spot for him to be in. And I, I cut that fluke off. We need to tie that back on in a minute. I just don't know, guys. If I had a trailer hook, I think it would be better. But they're biting the buzz bait. They're just not committing. That's the issue. If we miss one more fish, we're putting on the spinner bait or a crawl or a fluke. Something different because they're just not... I'm not going to sit here and lose all these fish. This spot's gold. It's another golden spot. I can get it up there where I need it. Right there. Oh gosh! Dude! I got Terra's crawl. We're sending it. That was a big one. That was not a small fish. Oh! They're just not eating it, guys. I don't know what to say. Right there. Okay, come on, big fish. Please eat this thing. I think I scared him more than anything. <laughs> when I saw that spot, I'm like, yeah, there's definitely a big fish up in there. Oh, dude. Maybe we try the frog, dude. I just, I don't know. I, we were having way too many topwater bites for me to say that they're just not gonna eat topwater. It doesn't make any sense to me. We're just not getting them to commit. Could be the color. Could be how quick it's moving. I'm just spooking them. But this frog, I can at least work a little slower. I guess another good spot right there. All I know is two of those bites were good fish. I'm not saying they were certified river, river monsters. That one might have been. That was a big one. Oh, yeah. Look at this little crevice. Here we go. Got one on the frog right away. That's a good one. Oh yeah, a good two and a half pounder, fat as can be. And he ate, look at how he ate the frog, guys. That quick switch up right there, and we got us a two pound bass on the frog. I actually committed, he destroyed it. See, they're eating top water. It's just getting them to actually commit all the way. Look at that little black spot on that fish's head. So pretty, that is a brute, man. Thank you, buddy. Let's go, boys. Finally one on the top water. This frog has definitely seen better days. But there we go, boys. Our first topwater bass of the Fishing for River Monsters episode one. And that was a perfect crevice, man. I debated on actually putting down the frog and throwing my spinner bait, but I was like, you know what? Let's try it. It paid off after missing all those buzz bait fish. Oh, dude. My, my frog's sinking, but he hit it. They are hammering the frog, dude. Oh, I think I got a hole in it. I think I got a hole in that frog. Let's see if we'll eat again. Oh, he's just sinking like crazy now. We're gonna try that spinner bait real quick. There he is. There he is. Oh, that was a good one. Son of a gun, dude. I mean, these fish are biting. They're just not eating, if you know what I mean. This little crevice has got us a lot of bites. As you can tell, it's just a good little cut off this main river. And somewhere where they're not going to be in that current. Perfect. Got a current break right in front of it with this tree. And then there's just a little pocket. But let's kind of regroup real quick and tie some baits on so we're not hurting ourselves. 
first things first let's tie a texas rig on we need just a standard old texas rig and i'm gonna do that instead of the fluke with a simple quarter ounce bullet weight it's a standard lead weight we don't use tungsten out here because oh, there's mud fish and you just break off a ton three uh, extra wide gap hook we're actually going to pair this up with a mock crawl got a bunch of mock crawls in here i'm going to go with uh that black and blue right there that should be saucy rig it up standard texas rig now we're thinking smart boys we really need to have that on all day y'all are gonna think i'm so stupid but i didn't bring my frog box dude very unfortunate we do have some of these smaller buzz baits that we could try yeah that little small chartreuse buzz bait might be better than what we're throwing the one that we're throwing just might be a little hefty i can't believe i don't have any frogs in this though that's the one thing i forgot this morning thought i forgot something i guess i did this buzz bait is actually going to be pretty hard to cast i mean if you can compare the size difference the downsizing here is going to get these fish to hook up more we're also making like really small methodical casts like really close to the bank so it shouldn't be too big of an issue you guys are probably saying no why not put on a treble hook one there's a lot of trees i don't want to have to deal with that and two i don't actually have any with me all right now that we're rigged up let's get to work let's try the small buzz bait I think I think this thing's so much smaller. That is oh dude, I can cast that thing good. Oh yeah. A little less ruckus in the water, which I wish it still had a lot of pop to it. So one thing that we can do too, you see how this blade's just spinning? If we want it to be loud, you see how that blade's gonna hit that now? It's gonna clack a lot louder. That's a little little trick with the buzz bait. See how much louder that is? Dude, are you, are you kidding me, bro? That fish was rude, dude. Straight up, took my only chartreuse buzz bait, ripped the dang skirt right off, got a little too excited. That shows how they're biting it, you know? You just bit that dang skirt and just, it was gone. We'll tie on the regular white though. It should be just as good. You know what I could do as well with that one that he tore the skirt off? I could just put like a little swim bait on that thing. And I bet that would be fire. We've honestly had so many bites on this buzz bait though. I think this is a pattern that we can just crank them. If we can just get them to eat it all the way, that's the biggest issue. Up here, we're gonna get a bite. There's another crevice right here, like right there. That's where those fish live, man. The little crevices. Just like that. And he came off. Oh, gosh, dude. I'm so over it. I really am. I was like, I finally got one hooked. It was about to come out of my mouth. And I decided to not say anything because I'm like, he's going to come off. And then sure enough, he came off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, buzzbait bass. There we go, son. Barely hooked too. See how they're eating that thing? I mean, he is just barely hooked. And that's another fat, close to two pound fish. Beautiful. Not a giant, but just a pretty. Oh, I'm in the trees. Oh no. Oh no. It's pretty bass though. Thank you, buddy. Our first buzzbait one. We finally got one to eat after like 10 bites. Spot looks good, guys. Looks like we're about to get on a roll with this buzz bait. Oh gosh! I looked away for two seconds, man. I actually felt them. Right there. See if we'll eat this crawl. Oh no, dude, he bit the heck out of it. Dang it, man. 
Dude, how are you not? These fish are so picky today. Look at that. I mean, I'd like to catch a crawfish, follow this thing up. Dude. There he is. Little tiny guy. I think that was the same fish that ate that. I don't know. At least we can say we caught one on the mock crawl today. <laughs> the wind is acting like we have a dang tropical storm blowing in right now. I don't know what's going on. It's windy. Oh, come on. You're supposed to eat that. What's up with this short strike and stuff, man? There's actually trees right here that I used to smoke some big ones on a frog. He was on the tree. Not a big one, though. A little tiny guy. A little squirt, dude. What, what is up with these little squirts? I mean, they're all just brutes, though. They're all fat. It don't matter how big they are. But yeah, there was a week that I caught a four pounder there. I went out the same weekend and caught another four pounder on that same exact cast, but with a frog. There's You can't see it right now because the water's a little high, but there's a lot of trees right there. It's like some big stumps. I mean, they love sitting on that patch. Couldn't tell you why, but they love that patch in particular. All right, so just fishing down this bank some more. I'm actually gonna move spots. We're gonna go upriver a little bit more. I got a spot or two up there that I think would hold some good ones. We came upriver a little bit more. We're gonna see, you know, that one stretch we fished right at the beginning on the main river, I mean, it was just, it was popping. We didn't land a lot of fish because we were having that buzz bait issue, but I mean, we were having bites. This all looks so good, but we haven't had a bite yet. One thing that's a little different with this bank and the other one we were fishing is this one's a lot shallower. It doesn't have much of a drop off, which I don't tend to fish these banks as much. I like fishing the ones that have a little more water on them. I feel like one, they hold the bigger fish. They're not, not necessarily bigger fish, but one, they hold just more fish in my opinion. Well, we'll go down this a little bit longer. If we don't have any luck, we'll move. There we go. I'm about to say, we're gonna have a bite and look how tiny. Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe it's gonna pick up right here. I'm about to say, how do I fish this whole bank without a nibble? I was about to just crank the boat up and move. Since we got a bite, we'll stay a little bit longer. Another tiny one. Another tiny guy. Ever since we switched to the small buzzbait, the smaller ones like eating it. I'm well, more of doing it so we can hook up with these fish. So we had a few good ones eat that other one, just couldn't get it all the way. New spot, I had to leave that other spot, guys. One, we just caught two small fish and two is just too shallow. We weren't getting many bites. It just didn't make much sense. So now we're at a new spot and this is actually a place I've caught some really good ones. We haven't had many big bites today, which is, you know, it's part of it. I'm still hoping, you know, we can get us a big one here. But this is episode one of Fishing for River Monsters. So to be honest, guys, it's like, we're not gonna smoke them every single time. And for it to be our first episode, we still are catching a ton of fish I'm happy with. Sometimes I'm fine with not getting many bites on the bank, guys. You know, it could mean most of the fish over here are just bigger and less of them. Come on, come on. It is whipping guys, wind's no joke. All right guys, it's just too windy. I'm gonna have to call it there, but I'll catch you guys on River Monsters episode two.